What's up team? Today we're gonna be doing a super cool experiment where we're gonna be seeing if we can put out fire with dry ice. So, let's get to testing. All right, so this actually came as a suggestion from one of the, uh, it was a suggestion in the comment section for one of our videos. The question was, can you do a video about putting out uh, fire with dry ice? Now what's really interesting is that um, it's very plausible, but there's a, I, what I want to test today is a bunch of different techniques on the best way to put out fire with dry ice. Now the reason that you can actually put out fire with dry ice is because fire requires oxygen and a flame, something that is combustible. Like um, in this right here is probably butane in this lighter or propane, and then we have a we have oxygen out in the air. Um, if you replace that oxygen with CO2, then you have no more fire, and that's exactly what uh, is happening with uh, dry ice versus fire. So if you put a bunch of CO2 in an area where there's fire, it will replace the oxygen and you got no more fire. So what we're gonna do for our first one is we're going to take a little bit of butane and put it on this piece of wood. And then we're gonna take our solid state CO2, we're gonna crush it up, and I'm gonna pour it right on that area. And my assumption is that it's going to uh, extinguish the flame. Okay, quite a bit of butane. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, we're gonna go ahead and light that up. All right, nice. All right, here we go. <laughs> Booyah! Immediately. All you had to do is sprinkle it on there. Now, it wasn't because it was cold. It was because it displaced the CO2. Let's do that one more time because that works so well. Fair amount of butane here. This stuff's really flammable. Extremely dangerous here. All right, gonna go ahead and light this up. All right, we get, definitely got some fire going here. Booyah, who's the fire putter out or master? Dry ice is. Now, once the dry ice clears out, you light it right back up again. Look at that. Put it out. See, and we can try to light it and see, see what's happening is the dry ice is displacing the oxygen. See, it wants the light, but it can't. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, now it's fighting it. The fire's winning a little bit. But see, as I'm melting, subliming the CO2, the dry ice, it's turning into gaseous CO2, and it's displacing any of the oxygen there. All right, so for the next one, I'm gonna go ahead and put some grass in here. Oh, do you guys hear this? Listen to this. Wow, what an awful sound that is. What's happening there is that the dry ice, um, as the dry ice is subliming and it's going from a solid CO2 to a gaseous CO2, um, it's coming off in waves and those waves create vibrations on the metal and then you end up hearing this sound. Now what I'm gonna do on this one is I, I have a, a CO2 tank, actually. And so what I wanted to show you guys is that the same method of putting out this fire can be done with pure CO2. So we have compressed uh, liquid CO2 in this canister under pressure, and then we have solid CO2 right here in this cup. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna turn this on. <laughs> now, think about this. If this were a flammable gas, like if this, if this were methane, or this were butane, or propane, and I did that, we would have a huge ball of fire. But because the CO2 just immediately displaced the oxygen, as you guys can see, I mean, it just, it just put it right out. Now, now that the CO2 has cleared from here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but I'm gonna do it with dry ice. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> He's hanging on there. He's hanging on. Because you can see what's happening is anything down here, there's no oxygen. But up here, it's starting to catch some of the oxygen that's coming through the atmosphere. So there's really no way I can, maybe I can do this, or I can maybe do this. That kind of worked. <laughs> 
So there we go. Nice and frosty down there. All right, so for this very last one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same CO2 and I'm going to put some of this, since we know how this works, uh, into this bottle right here. And I'm gonna toss it in here and I'm gonna light it up. We're gonna get a monumental fire. Oh! <laughs> Oh, all right, here we go. Raging fire. All right, CO2, here we go. All right, we got some, it's, there's a, there's a raging battle between the oxygen and the fire that so badly wants to light up and the CO2, and it's right there in the corner. And so what you're seeing is the same thing as we did last time. Getting a little bit of this, this stick right here, which is on fire, because it's, it's using the oxygen out here, and then the CO2 that's down in here so badly wants to light on fire. In fact, there's probably a lot of butane in there still. If we turn this around and put this in here, see what happens goes right out. CO2 for the win! So there we go, even with butane and some sticks and some really dry grass, the dry ice still beat out this massive flame uh, because any time that you can displace the oxygen, got no flame. Now however, uh, it'd be really difficult to, you know, it's not water, so if you were like throw this at a fire, uh, probably wouldn't work so hot. Um, wouldn't recommend it. But for this particular video in this particular instance, this worked. Um, so if you guys like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, did you guys know that dry ice was so good at putting out fire despite how cold it is? It's actually because it's not letting O2 back into the fueling of the fire. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.